Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another base tour. If you're watching us live, you know this is part of our Saturday morning live stream, but if you're watching the replay, this is a base tour from the Geeks Network. Uh, I'm UTC. This is the uh, cluster of servers where my patrons play along with Raleigh's patrons. Links for both of us in the description, as well as our host, which is G Portal Servers. You uh, use that link, get a discount. And today, uh, this is base tour number two of the day, and we're with a couple people who were with us last week. If you guys saw um, Haven, which was Jendaya's ocean base built very modern and floating out in the sea. Uh, Tonka and Jendaya team up for a lot of their builds. And now we are at Tonka's place. So both Jen and Tonka are here. Uh, this is Castle Bluff, right, my man? That is correct. This is Castle Bluff. And any, um, anything to tell us about it before we start? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, basically, uh, when we were starting to build uh, this, this place, we were... This was the first location, and uh, Jendaya had a small base um, here uh, originally, and then we turned it into a dock once she started to build Haven. Right. Um, right below is is a well, small water pen. Yep. How, and, uh, how far is Haven from here? We're at uh, 2819 on the GP GPS. It's like 928. Okay. Okay, so you're still at the same corner of the map, sort of. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Cool. Yeah, so definitely a boat right away. Cool. So definitely that's when we kept the the boat dock and uh, and the small pen underneath too. And building the building like the entrance to the base under this epic waterfall is great. Um, I know you mentioned water pen down here. I'll zip down and take a little look, but it goes right under the waterfall too. Oh yeah, definitely. So um, the the waterfall was the main connect for all this, and uh, and the elevator just fit perfectly here. Yeah. Okay, so there's a perfectly enclosed little thing, so that cuts off the waterfall. Got a little hidden feeding trough down here. Got not too much in your, your water pen, just an angler. No, yeah, it was uh, just an angler right now. And, um, and he's there. Removed, he looks, removed stuff. He looks like he's there as much for the, the, the looks as he is for, you know, needing him. He's just there to light things up a little bit, right? Uh, yeah, t definitely. Part of that is is for light, and uh, there's plenty of pearl spots around here too. So, and... uh, just run, make a quick pearl run. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so onto the elevator, and and up we go. Let's do this thing, guys. Definitely. And I'll do a little zoom out for this this phase, so people can see see us on our way up. Let me get right yeah, up. Yeah, I to do the apologize. It's a little bit of a of a long ride up here to the, oh, no. to the elevator. No the, complaints, man. The look is awesome of this place, especially when you get to the top. Um, people are, f people are gonna I, find I out. I always think the greatest places for as far as the view. <laughs> My camera can't go a billion different directions, but we got a good, good angle on it now. Yeah, and the lighting is pretty cool. Obviously, that's all intentional. You guys hiding the right color lights. Yeah. Around the place. Lots and welcome to Castle Bluff. Okay, beautiful. So check that check that drop off out, guys. That is pretty substantial. All right, and everything painted. Um, in the blue lights at night, it's a little bit hard to see what color is this. Uh, an orange or something that's painted on this? No, and it's because of the blue lights. Um, this is definitely uh, the brick red. Okay. Um, color. Yep. No, that's um, cool. Red and uh, if the sun comes out, you'll see, you'll definitely see the difference. We should, so we can start out at the yeah, at yeah, the apartment build this so round. Follow one. me, in. yes, sir. Um, this was this is an otter pen that uh, we got, and uh, definitely you know, it's inspired from the otter pen that uh, Aaron Longstaff built, um, but we made it into our own apartments. Nice. Or Jendaya made into the apartments. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I've seen. I've seen that one of Aaron's. How did he do it? Because he doesn't use S plus, right? Uh, correct. He 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 made a. It's, it was basically all for the otter pen. Um, mm. This part was not there. The, the inner okay. part of this. Okay. Okay. She just expanded it to make it into apartments. Cool. A uh, little his and hers bathroom again, or be uh, bedrooms. 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 Yeah, these nice. are our logout bedrooms. And the lighting in here provided by those chandeliers looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, those chandeliers put up some pretty cool light. Ooh, my frame rate does not like this room for some reason. It's always the blue that gets you, huh? 
Yeah, yeah. I draw. I went from like thirty-five to twelve frames in there. I don't know what's going on. I changed the blue last night from the bright blue down to the dark blue. Oh, uh, okay. No, but something in here. Yeah, they could f frames drop by half. I don't know if that was just me, but yeah, it's great out here. Like, everything's smooth, totally visible. <laughs> but yeah, no, that works. It's behind the waterfall so that they'd show up at night. And then they don't make a lot of difference, but. Oh, just a little, yeah. That's that. That looks like cyan almost, right? It is. Yes. Yep. Cool. All right. No, uh, this is great, man. Lots of individual details. I'm sure people can see see all the little detail bits out this way. Morning, uh, morning Bayman. We are currently in the middle of a live stream. Beautiful. Over here, if you follow me. Yeah, carry um, on, my man. I was just messing around with a um, not a, a taming pen, basically what it was, and then I just got carried away, and then you know how things happen that you start building something simple, and then yep, uh, it just became more and more elaborate and, as it came. And then you add so, gorilla statues on the front. <laughs> and I have to. Yeah, have gorilla statue somewhere in there. If I'm gonna call it mine, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is your patron. What would you call it? Like a, your spirit animal. My spirit animal, exactly. Yeah. Nope, that's cool, man. And yeah, no, this is beautiful. Standard taming pen. Drop stuff in through the roof. Snipe it through the sides. Exactly. But you know, most people just leave this a boring gray box. I like that you've you kind of made it made it part of the place, right? This is uh this is one of the the elements of the base. And if right, you're gonna... exactly. well, you could see it from our from Jen's apartment, so I told her that if she could see it, I would make it nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Right. Don't want to ruin the view. Yep. Well, certainly. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Um, this this rock is pretty darn epic. This is the bluff of the Castle Bluffs out here, but yeah, that's wild. I didn't notice earlier that elevator platform is painted, or is that just reflected? Yes. No, no, that's cyan, right? Uh, With orange yeah, underneath? Cyan. Yeah, correct. Okay, cool. And now we're seeing the colors on this stuff. Beautiful. Yeah, basically yeah, most of the cyan, the cyan color is gems. So, you know, she usually has cyan and, and pink for a lot of her colors, and then mine are blue and black. So we, we kind of combine a lot of the colors uh, together, and, and cyan is the one we would like for you know the stuff that we build together i like it um i should say Roth is in the stream chat he's about looks like he's about to be leaving so best of luck Roth. we'll see you back soon i'm sure um yeah all right and this is the castle of castle bluffs now right correct let's check out castle of castle bluffs beautiful um catch plant species up there obviously a wyvern catching that sunrise through the wings pretty fantastic Oh yeah, we we get to go see him and, and my Griffin up there. Oh wow, look cool. at the look at the paint job in here. Let me adjust my gamma a little. I had it for nighttime, so this is what we look like. You know what? Let's do a little bit brighter than that. There we go. Something like that ought to look good for everybody. And you guys do not miss a, a spot for paint. Yeah, I like painting stuff. Um, so I'm I'm usually the one that paints a lot of the a lot of the buildings. Um. Once again, the the blue is is you know my color and and the pink for Jen, and mm -hmm. we keep the cyan for you know, kind of like the team builds. And um, I should say thing. for people, anytime you see a Tonka base, and I'll link people again to the town hall at the end of this this video. But anytime you're in a Tonka base, the thing to keep your eyes open for is the signs. Definitely something you take pride in. Um, you're you known for doing the, the the cool custom signs, so I figured I would just show off. The first few of these. That that is your beer label. That is uh, the Taka beer label. Uh, if uh, anybody's interested, uh, Taka has a eight bite, you know, yep. a lager that uh, I brew here. So definitely come on by and and have yourself some. Uh, my bartender's always available. Yep. She drinks a lot of it, but you know, yep. <laughs> hey, at least. You know, she's here. She's here to provide some now, assistance. Do you have her purely decorative, or is she actually in range to manage crops as well? No, she's purely decorative. Okay. I have, a, I have one for just crops. 
cool. And then these custom signs you guys see just above here. Man, they look great. Those are metal signs. They must be, right? Yes, those are metal signs. Because of the way they're reflecting. That's cool. Correct. Um, you got the grill totally packed in and hidden back here. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is your industrial grill. Yep, fire it up. That's my, uh, that's my grill. Excellent placement on that. I like that a lot. And then this is the, this little dye pot thing uh, here, guys. You can click in and make dyes really easily. That's what this is, right? Yeah, I did, exactly. I, did, I, um, I didn't select it, but here we go. Yeah, it, you know, to me, to me, it was kind of like one of those, you know, when you put a, those, those pot holders for the fireplaces. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You'd be making so a little kinda, sauce over right. there. A little, I have a place for dyes, but there, yeah, I just kind of have it for little, looks. Little demi glaze reduction, and we've got aquariums built in. If people aren't noticing the details, this is the uh, eco, whatever it's called, water foundation thing. And exactly. Is it that I name? <laughs> and then uh, they are they're custom built in as aquariums all around. They provide some pretty crazy cool lighting. You got fish in them, and then painted. The painted beer barrels up there look cool with a couple of little plushies. I like that. Obviously, more yeah. barrels decorative here. Ooh. Right. Well, I mean, I have beer brewing in all of them, and uh, they're getting ready to be bottled. So, you know. Amazing. Kind of have to have them all. Um, big dining table, fully decked out with details, and then whoever's sitting here. Get running water, washing vegetables. This is like, uh, this looks like, yeah, seating for three over here. And then over here is where you'd have, like, servants come in to, like, hand off, prep the food. Where the, th the three <laughs> high-end people don't have to move. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was just one of those cool, cool deals that just came together. I like it, man. Looks excellent. I know I'm walking all over the bread and stuff, but... <laughs> That's all right. We'll, we'll make more. Yep. Beautiful. And then this is that bear that you've seen in a couple other places, guys. The Eco Craft Market Decor Crafting Cart, painted up in Tonky Colors. Yeah, exactly. You know, I can't have just regular stuff, so I painted it up for uh, mm -hmm. for my colors. More of the fish down here right in the center platform. And, um, and yeah, this is your dino storage as well, obviously. Yeah, definitely. This is my, you know, a lot of my gatherers and stuff like that stay in here. And uh, my main uh, transportation... Um, dinos say in here as well as all my shoulder pound uh, shoulder mountain tip heads are here you know and my bugs and my and my stuff so yep i like keeping them in in little uh little apartments yeah that we'll totally it. works yeah co <laughs> almost yeah compartments but uh but they they all they all go together well how easy is it to must be a little bit annoying to go get that guy from the top shelf yeah, I usually don't. Right, leave them up there. <laughs> Who needs them? Exactly. Um, and I see most of your, not well, as many of your dinos as you can are in the colors. Are all of our best Ankies have these red tips? So there's no avoiding avoiding that. But most of your stuff's in white, blue, black, cyan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I got um, Flotsam and Jetsam here, are my breeds, and they came out in this blue color, and they're they're awesome. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I dig it, man. So uh, my crafting area is over here. Um, you know, your front of the middle uh, furnace, and and I got all the oh yeah, all the crafting that I need. Yep, good furnace placement. I like it. Um, what's the thinking around uh, this adorable little desk here? And what is that you know, desk? What just, is that? Is that is, that's the the blueprint? Um, oh, you, yeah. Oh, cool. Little tiny table. No, I've I don't know if I ever noticed that before. I just looked at it and went like, oh, that's a vanilla table. Wait, no, it's not. That's a tiny yeah. little table. That's adorable. Uh, but yeah, that's another crafting look, station. Perfect. It does. I thought you put that there all by design. I didn't realize that was a station because my HUD's off. Yep, I just play, I just placed a camera and some uh, some of my beer bottles on there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got a few more things hidden underneath over here. A little red, white, and blue dodo. Yep, and the blue jerboa that Star gave me last week beautiful during her build yep painted vaults look good uh i didn't point out this this is painted uh, storage as well in that checkerboard pattern looking good yeah i always i, I like the, i like those uh putting them like that um just kind of they're out of the way and yeah man they just work out perfect i think that was uh i think there were 
they weren't the metal boxes, but I think the the post office part of the town hall had did it have something vaguely reminding had, me of yeah, that? Exactly. But they with had, the wooden boxes. boxes, right? They had the they was the wooden boxes. And then uh, another craft, uh, I guess not another crafting area, just where you got the the trike head, the the rhino head. So, some of these oh, are crafting. This is where I keep my. Um, this is my uh, saddle storage area, uh, my weapons, and my ammunition. Right. Um, and over here is where I keep all my colors for all my paintings and Beautiful, my canvases man. and stuff like that. Um, and then I have a little office area um, right over here. Okay. Kind of just a place to relax and calm down when you're the, you know, after a long day. <laughs> the carpets do an amazing job helping an area feel separate, don't they? They do. They do. I mean, I'll, I'll let you talk to Jen about that. She's definitely my, uh, <laughs> my my decorator. No, it's. I mean, it's just hard to, I think, without those carpets, it's not obvious that that's a separate area, but it totally feels that way. They make it more homey, too. Mm-hmm. Just add a little warmth. Um, have I have I missed any major paintings? We've got the Tonka oh, gorilla you know, face over more. here. And what's... what's <laughs> This one's got a custom frame. That is cool looking. Um, yeah, that's the frame that actually comes with all of them. I just never really usually put them on there. Um, okay. um, Jen just utilizes them well. Yeah. And I always just have the canvases out. That looks like an RG? It is. Uh, it's an RG angle? fighting a saber tooth. Okay. Okay, cool. I know it pixelizes things. It can be a little hard to tell. Yeah. You guys are looking at all the little bits of detail. We got globes. We got this mini rock golem, little mini note box down there. I really like these bookshelves. I designed my whole little apartment on the island CC around these bookshelves, so it felt like a library. They're really good. Oh, wow. I don't think I've seen the Thyla plushie. Looks good up there. We found out that you can paint these heads, the mounted heads. Oh, oh, the uh, like the rhino and the trike. Yep. Yes, um, those huh. are all paintable now. If uh, if you, if you hadn't seen, I mean, if if you see the big moose head in the in the kitchen. Mm. I painted it pink last night. I was yeah, I painted it pink so she could see, but um, but I painted it black for me. Nice. Um, it's usually all brown. Okay, right. That's subtle enough that it didn't catch my eye right at the beginning. I mean, there's so much stuff going on. I'm not sure I even looked directly at it. I think I was distracted right. by the, the, the Tonka signs on either side. But <laughs> but yeah, that works, man. That's cool. Um, so ha have you painted either of these or are those the vanilla colors too? No, uh, those are the vanilla colors. I didn't get them. I didn't paint those. Now, would you would you paint them like they look like a crazy blue and black mutation? Or would you uh, try and I keep them lifelike? You don't. Uh, no, oh, you certainly I don't have to. Life, like, I was curious oh, okay. what you what you would prefer, but. Uh, um. I, yeah. I. I like them lifelike. So. So just they, some, they fit better. There's some slight variations, like the moose can go from brown to black and still look good. Exactly. Like you know, like this uh, crafting area bear. Um. It's usually brown, and I painted it black. Beautiful and little flyer storage up here. This is perfect. Yes, so, um, my flyer storage, and then, of course, uh, if you see straight ahead from you, mm -hmm. I have it where you can fly in and fly out of here. I was going to ask um, if you were going to take us uh, where you were going to take us to, but if people don't, if it's not obvious to them, this right here is a gate. Right? I can meet you in the roof, because that's exactly where we're going to go next. Okay, <laughs> sweet. But yeah, this thing's pretty fantastic. On the inside, it actually looks really subtle, color-wise. And then on the outside, you have all these amazing metal bits to paint. Oh, right. It opens both ways. Keep that in mind. Uh, yes, definitely it does. <laughs> I forgot. I thought I could walk. I forgot I could walk on it without uh, a problem. Okay. Right. Frame rate's good. I'm not, I haven't fallen <laughs> off. We're solid. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. The, t I, the top of that, that, uh, that thing. That was just an experiment, and it came out pretty neat, and I just kept it. Yeah. It was, I, I don't I, know. I don't think I've artwork. seen that. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's funky. Um, so the small greenhouse underneath. Beautiful. Right, and is this accessible and, from the inside of the house? Uh, yes, through stairs. Um, the stairs that you saw in the kitchen, if yep. if you follow me. 
Okay. Um, they don't go directly to the greenhouse, oh, but they they come out they come out right to here. Right, right. Cool. And this is where this the one staircase, and then my second staircase over here, which where it comes out. Cool. And yeah, nice, nice, simple, small greenhouse. Got a little bit of everything. A couple different size crop plots in there. Uh, and then the stuff we're standing on here, guys, it's not obvious uh, if you don't know this, but these are all windows. So from the inside, this is, looks wide open, and then from the outside, it looks like a solid thing. So, Jendaya had the same thing over her place a lot last week too, right? That one-way transparency. Yeah, I, I definitely dig working with uh, with that glass. Um, and, Amen. You know, I built Jendaya's garage just like that, so it uh, it's it's easy to utilize. I see another American flag painted creature up here. Oh, that's America. Yep. Uh, <laughs> the, the ever famous. So, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, you ha gotta have them. Yeah. Um, it's the pain of the American dream right there. Land of the free. <laughs> um, yeah, man. This is very solid. I like this. Um, Paint, ski, paint paint goes everywhere, guys. It looks really good. Um, this is the same brick on the stone underneath our feet. Is that what that is? Or is that a... I lost you. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I just... The, the stone that's uh, underneath most of this is brick. Or tangerine? I don't yes. know I'm looking at. Brick? Brick. I'm running all around in circles. I'm just... I'm around the wyvern, generally. But no. Uh, oh, okay. That, that yeah. looks good. Oh, uh, now I see you. I'm running underneath you. Okay. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, that's orange for the for the metal. Okay. Um, but everything else up top is is a brick. Mm -hmm. And then people can tell the, there's blue, pink, and cyan, obviously, in different areas. But um, yeah, no, I like it, man. Um, what uh, ha is there more to this place to see? I know we didn't go down both the staircases, yes, but they just, take just us back. Yes, just a small bit. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you could come back to the kitchen area, I'll um, I'll see I'll see what I can do. Rest. All right. Oh, I took the right stairs. Perfect. They both lead the same way. Perfect. Yeah. There's not going to get lost. And you're using... I'm a fan of these. You're using the vanilla spiral staircases where possible, which are less right. glitchy. You fall through them less. Um, right. And they're, and they're more... Uh, they're paintable. And they're beefy. You got this big, thick stone mm -hmm. stone trim to it. So I'm a fan. Yep. I used to have the S plus ones. So I just I prefer those. Yep. I'm with you. Um, a whole wall of uh, stained glass up here, and then are we gonna end up going out this this? Uh... Oh right, right. We got two areas to go. We got up here, and then is there? There's a little something out here too, right? Just oh well, yes, that's just uh, pretty much. Uh, if you look right out there in that area, um, it holds the generator. It holds, you know, the bees okay. right here. Um, you know, my food trough and. You know, pooper scooper over here, and uh, it, it just looked well. It just looked well decorated when I poked my door out, uh, poked my head out this door. I wanted to make sure we weren't missing anything too important. But I figured this main staircase led us to the bigger, better areas. So, oh well, you know me and Jen, we kind of decorate every single piece we can find. Nothing goes untouched. Uh, a lot of paintings in this hallway. I notice already. I wanted to make a bridge. That um, is a gorilla with a, bi a cybernetic arm or something like yeah. that. Pretty sick. Yeah, that's my that's my cyber gorilla. Yep. And then we got a little dog-headed. It's a badger. Badger, right? Little badger gentleman, gentleman, the gentleman badger. It's gentleman badger. <laughs> there we go. I'm name, naming all these, and then this is. Th that that, uh, that would be. I don't. Uh, I don't even know. Got a name for it? Um, Monsignor. Puma. Beautiful. I like that. There you go. How you like that? Monsignor Puma, the gentleman badger, and, and <laughs> cyber ape. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, little ravagers. Skilly. Yes, this is where I keep all freaks. my puppies. Yep. Noel's version and of the then... dogs was the, the hyena dons. Yours is the, the ravagers. Exactly. Okay. Here on in Ragnarok, it's the, yeah. I use the ravagers for for my dogs. So uh, this this walkway, I just wanted to create um, just a cool little I don't know a walkway area, and then uh, it fits perfect because it kind of hides the the gate, the behemoth gates, because they're so awful looking. Yeah, it does. This is like a sunken garage. Right. Is that your um, your, your turtle? Nope. They just like popping in here. Okay, well. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have I don't have the most plans to waste time with them because they they don't cause harm. But if they get close to the aloes, they'll destroy them. Okay. So. Yeah, I won't blast his face. I'm tempted. Oh, I mean, total. You totally can. More meat for the meat eaters. Wow, he's tough. Yeah, he is. This 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 is the shotgun that killed Rockwell. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, man. Um, so so the, the, the behemoth gate leads to the outside. Yeah, that is a good way to do a behemoth gate. Totally hidden. And then up up, up there, guys, if it's not obvious, that's the bridge we came across with Monsignor Puma, right. etc. Right, the gentleman badger. Yeah. And uh, a bionic ape. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me leads us to the, this, uh, this area. Um, mm -hmm. I, I put some, you know, the... Uh, trophies? Yep. That's the word in, in Yeah, yeah. Yep. Take your time, man. We're good. Uh, right. Trophies were... Uh, did I lose Oh, it? back, back, back in this... Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Back in this oh, big I see. patio area. There we go. I love those wings. They're, my, they're the best things that have, they've come with here. Beautiful. And you can paint these. I don't know if you always could, but... Um... The base is right. Yeah. Yeah, you can. They look great. Um, now, are you, uh, do you have an artifact that you aim to add to complete this collection? Yeah, it's, uh, the, the last, there's three of them in this server, right? Oh, is that right? Okay, I, I'm, I'm terrible with knowing how many we got on this one, on each of them, but yeah, perfect, one, one to go. Um, and this is my great big wall to keep the Brontos away. Yep. A little bit reminiscent of uh, of the Great Wall of Dunk from last time, similar a little bit in the style, but obviously painted up, so it looks very different than Dunk's. It's done copied. <laughs> <laughs> and you got your little windmill up here, which is cool. Little uh, right, it wind just lights up all the all the lights inside. And if you see if you can see, I didn't make the walls completely solid. Um, yes, I can I'll see put, that. Right. I put all those the wooden, uh, so I, so all the lights light up the the wall at night. Beautiful, and a little spiral up. Oh, it gets a little crowded up top. I can still fit. It, it does. It gets a little. I still, but I still fit. Looks good. I got some guns on there and. Yes, just a cool actually. Wall. <laughs> stuff. There's stuff dying in the background. Um, some a Diplo just got obliterated out there. <laughs> yep, no, it looks good, man. Uh, do I see another elevator over there? You do. Um, since so so this area is basically all um, ore and crystal, and uh, so I I really don't have to go anywhere. I just grab my Anki. Um, I gather what's inside the base, and then I'll take that elevator to the top. Um, which I haven't finished constructing, but it, it mm -hmm. kind of works. Um, and if we go up here, it's a, a whole lot more... Um... Beautiful. I didn't know if you wanted us to go up or not, because you said you, weren't, you hadn't finished with it. I didn't want to didn't want to make you take us up if you weren't ready, but yeah. I like oh, that's it, okay. But those without, those without wings will have to uh, travel lightly. Yep. Um, and this and is this a area, good... of course, it's out in the open, out in the wild. But as you can see, there's there's ore everywhere. It gives us a good overview of, of what you got out here too. Yep. No, this is cool, man. Yeah, right. This is a super rich area. I see nodes everywhere. And that behemoth gate down there, that doesn't mess with these these spawns up here? Even Not though, at all. Just because the base of it's so far away? Yes. Nice. Yeah, I, mean, I always make sure to you know, keep away from ore, and I don't like, I really don't like breaking up any natural rock right. um, that's inside the base. Um, I I really try to work with what's there yep. and yep. build around it. I like that, man. So, so you place. know, the wall, the castle, everything just kind of goes with the flow of the land rather than that's been a pretty common theme so far. Obviously, uh, Jens is, is a little different because it's, 
there is no land. But uh, <laughs> but most of the most of the bases we've come across, people are trying to build with the terrain and and uh, and make it work. Um, have have we seen the place, man? Are there big big chunks of it we we still need to see? What do we got left? No, sir. This is Castle Bluff. Okay, so why don't I come? Uh, ready? Missed. <laughs> Uh, where's a good spot to outro? Let me go. I, I tried to land up on top of that cliff and I did not make it. Let me see if I can find my way to something, some good looking vista, and we'll, we'll <laughs> say goodbye to people from there. Yeah, I mean, you can you can definitely see the entire base from up here at the top of the elevator if you want Perfect. me to send it down. You know what? I think I got it. I'm, I'm just down here, but, uh, but I'm looking at the main building and uh, the waterfall and the little oh, housing perfect. over there. So I think this is a pretty good spot. I'm at the top of one waterfall looking down over the little pool where you guys got your house. If you want to work your way down, you guys don't have to. But um, uh, I know this week Tonka did most of the talking, but this was both Tonka and Jen. So thank you guys for the tour. Oh, no problem. Oh. And this this is it. You guys don't have any more places, at least on Ragnarok, um, for right. tours, right? Okay, cool. Well, in a few weeks, we will move on, and we will head to another uh, another location, um, do some uh, do some some more tours. But uh, uh, yeah, I mentioned this. If you're watching the replay next week, if you tune in Saturday morning at 11 a.m., we've got the Geek Games Medieval Game Style Competition. Then the week after that, Saturday morning, which would be the 12th of may we got another five base tours lined up and after that at some point we'll, we'll have to move on from ragnarok and go check out some of the other spots so you may see tonka and jen back um if you're watching the video oh, yeah. i'm gonna make sure the stuff that pops up on the screen is jendaya's base tour from last week and tonka's town hall that he did on uh the original geeks ragnarok server uh, this is actually number three ragnarok number three so um and yeah man thank you this has been castle bluff uh if you're watching us live we are going to move on to another tour if you were watching the replay click the like button check out the links in the description from my uh, mine and Arali's patreon pages and you're welcome to come join us in this amazing little community um but i think i think that does it guys um yeah thank you for yeah, watching definitely. and uh yeah we'll be back with another base tour in just a moment <laughs>